Hey guys, and welcome back to Moore's Menu. So today, as you can see, I've got a lot of bags full of food in front of me. We just got back from Trader Joe's, so I figured I'd kind of do a haul this time, show you everything that we got, and then I'll kind of point out some of my new favorites or new things that I've discovered. So without further ado, let's get this started. So the first two things I'll point out are these plants, I guess, flowers. So I think I've mentioned at some point along the lines of my videos that Trader Joe's has really affordable and really cool flowers. So we got this just like bouquet of flowers. We just have a little vase that we put it on and just leave it in our kitchen just to bring some color. And then this is actually actually eucalyptus. I follow on Instagram. There's It's called Trader Joe's List. And basically it's just a person that loves Trader Joe's like we all do. And she just kind of created an Instagram about it. And um, we'll do a lot of reviews on and like new things that come out and hauls and different stuff like that. And recently posted about how if you put this kind of like over top of your shower head, it's supposed to like really make your bathroom and shower smell really good, almost like a spa. So it was only $3, so I figured I'd try that out. All right, and now moving on to the bag. So I'm going to start this with this big one back here because this is our insulated bag. So this is where most of our cold stuff is, not all of it, but I want to get that stuff done and put away. So the first is just some ricotta cheese that we're going to be doing for um, a recipe that I'm actually going to be filming so stay tuned for that. Just got some frozen corn. We like to keep frozen corn. We really like corn. That's that. Uh, this next one, Mitch really likes their hatch, hatch chili mac and cheese. Um, we just discovered this recently and it's really good. It kind of just has a little, add a little spice to their frozen mac and cheese. This one you've heard me talk about before, the reduced skillet mac and cheese. I always get one or two of these. This is actually a new item. I don't, well, I don't know how new it is, but it's new to me. It's this Cuban style citrus garlic bowl. It's basically, it says juicy chicken thigh with seasoned rice, black beans, and plantains and a zesty citrus and garlic sauce. So we each got one of these to try. Um, it's not too high in calories and just kind of like, looked like a good easy meal to try. I also got some coconut shrimp. I think I've talked about these before. Super easy to throw in the oven or in the air fryer if you have one. No, I know I've mentioned these. Two things of chicken fried rice. It's always a staple. We always get these. This uh, shaved Parmesan Romano Asiago cheese. Again, Trader Joe's has a good cheese section. This is a staple and I'll be using it in a recipe. This one is a new one that we haven't tried before. It's their spanakopita. Um, so it's filled with spinach, ricotta cheese, and feta cheese. Um, they have a bunch of just like random appetizer type things or sides and different stuff. So every once in a while we'll just try one or two new things. So if this is good, I'll throw it in a favorites haul later on. We also got some just generic meats. We have some ground beef. I'm going to be making the meatloaf muffins, which I've showed before for meal prep this week. And then we got two um, of these like things of sausages. We're going to be making bangers and mash this week. We got these soy cheese, soy slices cheese alternative. I think I've shown me use these before. Um, again, we're just trying to cut down on some dairy just for our little tummies because both of us <laughs> seem to have upset stomachs sometimes when we have too much dairy. So these are actually really good. Um, they actually taste pretty cheddary and they melt okay. So we always grab these when we're there. Mitchell also always gets this butter chicken. Um, it's a really easy just kind of frozen meal for him to eat. And then I very aggressively got three of the cauliflower crust uh, cheese pizzas. The new one that we go to, every time I go there, they're always out of stock of these. So when I saw it today, I just grabbed three because I just want my freezer to be stocked. <laughs> All right, we'll go move on to this bag now. So I know I've talked about these. These are my favorite tortilla chips. We always grab a bag when we're there. Uh, most of this bag is a lot of just produce stuff, so I'm not going to go into super detail, but we've got onions, lemons, limes, grapefruit, and then a bunch of berries. We have raspberries, blueberries for the week, um, the other Cuban style thing I talked about, and some milk. We really like their lactose-free milk, so we always grab that. Alright, now moving on to the last two bags. 
So, more fruit. <laughs> Got some blackberries. Um, I really like these brown rice cakes. I don't know that I've talked about these before. Um, my hair cedar grocery store that I normally go to only has white rice, um, like the normal like Quaker rice cakes, and they're okay, but these are just like really crunchy and good. Um, so sometimes I'll grab these for a snack. Uh, we also got some more rice, just for literally to use every week. <laughs> um, I think I've talked about these before, pita bite crackers. We always get these for hummus and cheese. They're just really good. They're like a combo of a pita cracker and a regular cracker. It's super crunchy and just very good. I also got some apple juice. Um, we'll be making some drinks later and um, just wanted to get some of that. Their mac and cheese, which I've talked about before, we just really like their box mac and cheese, and I'm going to be using it pairing with the meatloaf muffin meal prep. We also got some rigatoni, which is going to go along with the ricotta cheese. Again, stay tuned for the vid. And the last thing in this bag is this uh, organic tomato and roasted red pepper soup. This is really good. I think it's seasonal because I only see it during the, when it's cold, basically, I guess because it's soup. So it's just nice to like have and like, you can keep it in your fridge, I think, for up to like seven, 10 days after opening. So um, again, just an easy meal to have. And then this bag is also more produce. Um, so we have some bell peppers for our bangers and mash recipe. Some hummus, um, we like to just have hummus on hand all the times, but I'm also going to be doing a meal prep um, that uses this, and it's actually gonna pair with this lemon pepper, it's not even lemon pepper, I think it's just lemon. Oh, it is grilled lemon pepper chicken. My friend Andrea actually has an Instagram where she does a lot of healthy food and healthy cooking and shares a lot of her recipes. And she shared, it's a couple months ago now, I think, um, this like bowl that has Spanish rice and chicken and hummus and um, a couple other things, arugula, really, like really good and then ingredients, kind of like this Mediterranean-ish. We've been obsessed with it, we've had it a lot and she suggested to try this lemon grilled, lemon pepper grilled chicken with it. So um, normally I just cook regular like chicken thigh or chicken breast with it, but we'll try it with this today and use the hummus. Also got this butter lettuce. For some reason I just really, really enjoy butter lettuce. It's like a good combo of like iceberg and romaine almost it's like kind of like the in between i don't know sometimes i just get bored of eating romaine all the time and if i don't want like a spring mix i don't know butter lettuce is just good as a universal for like salad or to use as toppings and like stuff like that so we also got two other like dairy-free cheeses that we're going to try we haven't don't think i've tried these before i think I've seen them before. I think my sister has probably had them at some point and I've seen them. But this is just uh, mozzarella and this is like a blend of cheddar, mozzarella, and jack flavor soy cheeses. Um, so we're just gonna try these out to see if they're good. Use them as replacements for normal shredded cheese. I also got two pasta sauces. These are again gonna go with that pasta recipe that I talked about. And we're also gonna be making spaghetti this week. I have these two wraps and burritos. I think I've talked about them before. This one is the Cubano season wrap. Um, this one's really, really good. Kind of high in calories, so I don't normally like it and get it for myself, but Mitch always likes it and gets it um, really good. And then this pollo asado burrito, he really likes it. He's actually gonna eat this for lunch now, so I'm gonna go take it to him. All right, a couple last things in here. Uh, this is just a tomato for a recipe. I also grabbed this chili lime seasoning. I've seen this, I heard a lot of people talk about it. Supposedly it's really good for like Mexican style dishes and stuff like that. So I haven't tried it before, but it's probably good. And their spices are so reasonable. I always end up grabbing one of them. And along the same lines, I got some garlic salt because we were out. Uh, this is just some tuna, um, solid white albacore tuna, nothing fancy. We've kind of started recently having this on hand just for easy meals because it's pretty healthy and easy to get some good protein in. Also got some mint. I mentioned earlier we're making some drinks, so that's gonna go in there. And then the last thing is actually my lunch for today. Um, we went to Trader Joe's at lunchtime, which is scary because I always hate going to the grocery store when I'm hungry because it always makes me want to buy other things, but I think we did pretty good. So anyway, I got this crunchy slaw salad. It's like white chicken meat, cabbage, carrots, and crispy noodles with peanut dressing. I've never had this before, but I think I've mentioned they have a bunch of prepackaged 
sandwiches, salads, and all kinds of stuff, and that was just in that section. Um, it's only 500 calories for this whole thing with the dressing and everything, so figured I'd eat this for lunch. Um, so yeah, that's everything that we bought. Both, all four bags are now empty, so that'll conclude today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, just getting to see kind of what we bought for this week to have on hand for, you know, in our freezer for easy meals. Um, if you liked this video and want me to do more Trader Joe's hauls, let me know. Leave me a comment down below or give this video a thumbs up. If you're new here and haven't yet subscribed, make sure you go ahead and subscribe so you don't miss out on any of the videos that I post on Wednesdays and Sundays. Thanks again for watching Works Venue and I hope you have a great day. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.